Hi, welcome to No Aim No Gain. In this video, I'm going to be discussing about the conversation loop. So have you ever gotten yourself into a conversation where the conversation has gone sour with somebody and you just don't know what to say next and you're so desperate to say anything just to um, stop this the void of this dead silence? It can happen to the best of us. So how do you go about um, solving that problem? Well, in this video, if, if you stay to the end, I'm going to show you a method that I use and it's used without the industry, especially in the sales industry, how you can keep the conversation flowing infinitely. So this consists of a statement and a question. So basically how it's going to work, it's going to work in a loop direction and basically you're never going to run out of things to discuss with a person. So let me just give you an example, let me just give you an example here. The first way you can start a conversation with somebody is you can maybe pull out an assumption about them. So the way they're dressed or how they are so you could possibly say oh you look like a solicitor so then the, what's going to go through their head is or well, why did they assume that i was a solicitor and they'll be quick to uh, correct you and say um i am an accountant so first thing you've done is you created an assumption about the person now you can use this uh a lot in all different scenarios of your life and it, it works very really well in the networking industry so I definitely recommend you start by making assumptions you can start um, um, in any area so the next point of conversation is the statement so they've told you that they're a accountant or a doctor or whatever let's just go on the fact that they're an accountant so then you bring up your knowledge about accountancy and then you make a statement about accountancy so you can make any statement such as uh, I would have imagined accounting to be like very difficult and it could be like number crunching I've always imagined accountancy to be such a broad topic is it true that you have to learn everything about accountancy so what you've done there, you've made a statement and then you followed up with a question. Now what's going to happen is that they're going to fill the question for you. So they're going to answer your question and then they'll make a conversation. And then based on that conversation that they've made, then you can make another statement on what they've, on the back of what they've just said. And then you've, you can create another question. You understand where I'm going with, with this now? Then you can make another question <coughs> and then you say another question and then they'll answer it. They'll continue talking about it and then you can make another statement or maybe you can start to, um, now maybe you can start to engage in the conversation. But what you don't want to keep doing is just keep doing this because what is going to happen is they're going to obviously pick up like the conversation is going to start to go sour and you need to really invest as well so you need to uh, show to the other person that you're an interesting person as well so discuss about yourself and um, maybe uh, they can start asking questions about you now if you do this very well I guarantee you what's just going to keep on happening is we'll never run out of uh, a con anything to say in a conversation but so the takeaway is that um, from this um, message that I'm delivering today is make assumptions if, if you're really stuck or you can start off with the statement itself and then you can follow that with a question and then what's going to happen they're going to answer that question Try to make the question 
an open style question, not a closed question where it's a yes or no answer because then it just goes back to the void. Then you have to start again with a statement again. So try to make the um, question so I would have imagined and then dot 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 and then they'll basically they'll fill that void uh, by talking and then if they something else strikes up then you can maybe have your input or what they've just said and then follow up with another statement and a question but like I said you want to come across as an interesting person which I believe you are because you are there's loads of different people that are watching my channel so you want to really try to invest in the conversation as well so t so those are my uh, tips today and I really hope you've uh, learned something today that you can take on board uh, for your business or personal life uh, to better yourself I'll really appreciate it if you hit the like button and uh, share this uh, and share this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification where we're going to be putting out more content on a regular basis that's going to add value to your life so stay tuned thank you